Welcome at OneFluy, your partner and specialist for hydraulics and electronics. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic settings of the PD3 electronics. Why do we need an electronics at all? To drive proportional solenoids and valves accurately, we do need a proportional electronics. In our example is the PD3 amplifier. The PD3 offers the following functionality. It's a small, compact amplifier for solenoid valves. The settings are done with the OneFlu app or Bluetooth. We have either the analog command or the IO-Link functionality. It comes either with the free cable end or directly assembled on top of the solenoid. The input voltage range is 8 to 32 volts, but it must match the used solenoid coil. On the 5-pin cable of the PD3, we always have the M12 connector. The pin assignment is different for the analog or for the IO-Link type. For analog devices, it matches the passive M12 distribution boxes. For the IO-Link type, it matches the pin assignment of IO-Link masters of type B. Only these masters offer the high solenoid current. The connection example of the analog type shows the potentiometer for the command input and it shows the enable input to either enable or deactivate the solenoid output. The example of the IO-Link application shows that the command and communication is done via IO-Link connection. With the IO-Link technology, a PD3 can easily be assembled in an existing IO-Link architecture. And with the data communication and additional data and states, we can easily use the PD3 for new IoT applications. The settings and diagnostics are all done with our new OneFlu app. I can easily do configuration settings of the parameters, do online diagnostics and save these parameters on the app. After power up of the PD3, the flashing blue LED says that it is waiting for a Bluetooth connection. When starting the OneFlu app, I can scan for existing PD3 electronics and I can easily connect to my device. Now the steady blue LED shows that we do have an online connection and it automatically shows the online values such as the command input or the solenoid current. In the parameter tab, I can easily change my settings, such as the ramp times. In the OneFlu app, I can easily see online data or I can change parameters, such as the input value scaling or change ramp times or do the settings of the solenoid coil current. On our website, you find more information such as the data sheet, the operating guide or the IO-Link specification and also the links to the internet stores for iOS and Android. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video. Goodbye.